Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charlie, and welcome back to the crazy prison on the moon. Yeah, we got some uh, more equipment dropping in the workshop. Notice we have 23 people eligible to work here. Where is it? Right down here. 23 people eligible to work here. It says max jobs 41 for this room. So I think we crank it up. But with 23 people able to work here and only this many machines, that's a lot of people just standing around saying, hey, I don't have anything to do, dude. So I'm dropping some more gear in here because uh, more equipment equals more productivity. Yeah, but this equipment also going to need this to be expanded. So there we go. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they get on with that. We're down to six grand. I wanted to expand today, bring in more people, maybe even start on the maximum security wing. But I'm, uh, I'm a little light on money to do that, so I might need to take out loans. We all love those, don't we? We all love loans. Uh, I'm not concerned with the toilets being right next to this pipe since this is solitary. And I've also, if you haven't noticed, added additional solitary cells along this wall. And then uh, this says it needs an entrance, and this... Oh, poor Cooper. <laughs> poor, poor Cooper. <laughs> Being trapped in here. Hey, hey, man. I went I went in here through a door. Uh, that door is gone now. What happened, guys? Guys? Guys, I need... Can you let me out, please? Yes. There you go, Cooper. There you go, Cooper. We'll get you a door. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, so this stuff here, I, here's the two things. Um, I want to expand medical, like this, but it's not a big... I mean, this is a crazy prison, so... A random chair sitting in the middle of the hall is... It's not super abnormal, is it? It doesn't. It's not super... It's just not, that's not, it's not weird. No, that's not, that's not weird. Absolutely not. No, of course not. Uh, do these guys have chairs? I can't tell with them standing. I don't think they do. You know what? This can be moved over here. How's that sound? Yeah. And then uh, why don't we give you guys a couple more? You know, for all that hard work you're doing. Monitoring the, the doors and all that. Speaking of which, I think I probably want to have a few more doors with the servos. Just a few more. That one, and there was one more I was looking at before, but I don't remember where it is. Uh, I, it, it wasn't the holding cell. Well, if I find it, then I'll do it. If I don't find it, then I, I won't do it. Yeah, so I wanted to expand um, and get maximum security started too. And I think that's going to be this area down here as well as wrapping all the way around here. But the problem is, is like, see, you need a lot of money to expand for a whole new wing like that. Because it's going to require their own canteen unless I want them to share resources, which maybe I do. Maybe I want them to all use the same canteen. I haven't actually figured that out and decided yet. I think I do. Because... It just means less stuff, you know? Less rooms to manage, but still have the same number of prisoners. We're gonna give them a few more t tables and chairs here too. And then I think, um, I might actually go like this. I've been thinking about this design as well. Going sideways like this with it. It seems like it could be okay. I don't know. It could be fine. Imagine sitting right here. And then the guys who are here really hate you and just He's right behind you the whole time. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that probably has to happen eventually is either I do need another canteen or we expand down this way. The other thing we could do, though, actually, we could take small tables. Yeah. We could take small tables right in this area. Huh? Maybe put an extra... Dude, this can happen. Well, if that door was one up, it could happen easier, but... I think it can still happen, though. Let's try this. I don't know if this will trigger people or not, but we'll find out. <laughs> A couple extra tables there. And then, like, 
Holy crap, why don't we just use the, the wooden tables and stools through all of this, huh? I mean, we got them, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. This, this is going to drive you nuts. <laughs> uh, yes, this is what we're doing. This is my mighty solution. Uh, wooden stool, please. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yes. The stagger. Yes, because it makes so much sense, right? That workflow from people getting their food straight to their tables. Now, you got to walk around now. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really not. So another thing I want to do is uh, start beautifying the place a little bit, right? My trees are starting to grow. This grove kind of works now. Right? They're kind of walking through here with the lights and all that. I like it. I can dig it. I kind of feel like taking these lights out, though, and replacing them with street lights. But the problem with that is that the street lights, they just don't look as good from this angle. Right? Like this angle, no problem. But like this, it's just like this pole. I don't really like it. So I probably won't do that, too. Flooring, snow, here we go. So, I don't know. I started this video thinking, hey, I'm going to expand right now. And then, uh, right before I started recording, I'm like, actually, you know what? We need more equipment here. And so, I expanded this equipment, and now I've run out of money, so I can't um, expand the wing. With this kind of cash flow, I mean, I could just take a loan for it. I'm trying to avoid doing that. And we're going to get a massive amount of money as soon as someone passes general education. So I'm thinking, like, if I just if I could just wait that long, then we can rock it, you know? But who's going to pass that? Let's see. Who's going to pass it? This is, uh, is Hay. His name is Hay. Hey, Hay. Uh. See, it doesn't say you have any success chance here. And, uh, I also still can't look at the programs really quickly between people either, like, I wish you could leave these windows open and stack them on top of each other. That would be the best, honestly. I don't think there's any real reason why I can't have multiple windows open here. You know, like the programs window. Jackson, pause. You have a lot of needs, man. What's been going on with you? You've been in solitary for a while, probably. I don't anticipate you having much success that way, but you do have a 2% estimated reoffending. Your health is terrible because you have addictions. But look at all this stuff, though, huh? Huh? What's my prison rating right now? 4%. Okay, we want to lower this then. 4%. What parts do you have to work on? Health? That's probably because of addictions and alcoholism and stuff, so we can work on that. Which is what I was going to do when I made these offices, which I haven't actually done yet. So let's do that, too. Um, we're going to take... Uh... Oh, where are they? You know what? It's much easier to find this stuff. First off, let's get rid of these get rid of the silly planning lines. It's much easier to do this stuff if you just mark the rooms first. Wait. Nope, this is white walls. We're good. Um, so we'll take the rooms, for instance, and we go offices. Where is it? If you can find offices, that is. When you mark that stuff, when you go back into the objects, you'll get things that are pertaining to offices. So, like, right away, office desk is there, and it's highlighted, and it's easier to find. So we'll go like that. Uh, we'll go like that, I guess. And we'll go like, uh, that, I guess. Give them each a chair. And then, uh, I don't know, a couple of chairs in their office, probably. That looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it does. We're going to do it anyway. Yeah. You got chairs in your office there, buddy. Because <laughs> way back here in the corner where they can't even get there or see you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, you know, that's fine. That's fine. These offices, they don't need to be sensible. Nah. Uh, let's go like this and done. Okay, so these here are going to help us with behavioral therapy. And maybe that'll help us on our health a little bit more. 
Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm noticing these doors aren't auto-opening, so I think I put the, the servos in but didn't connect them. One, two, three. What else? What else? Uh, any of you guys not connected? It looks like they're all connected. I've been debating on putting another road gate in, too. If I don't have anybody attempting to escape, it's not that big of a deal. But once we get max, max security in, we're going to have people trying to escape a lot more often. I don't see any more doors. This did not uh, didn't get finished. Why? It still thinks it doesn't have an entrance. If I pop a door here, does that count? I guess it does. <laughs> That's a really weird thing. I'll let it go, though. I mean, I need them to just build the stupid thing. So, And then we'll... Uh, they didn't make this foundation. I think that's the problem. They were supposed to make this foundation as well. Right? Like that. So, let's let them install the double door here. The foundation will finish. Hopefully. They didn't make this part foundation either. Didn't I tell them to? Did I mess that up? I feel like I told them to do that. Blocked. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just get rid of this stuff. Anything that's a wall in this area, let's just get rid of it for now. We're going to make sure this whole area is just kind of opened right up, you know? Because this is going to be another cleaning closet, right? I want my prisoners to clean the place, not my staff. It's way cheaper to let prisoners clean it than it is my staff. I like how they're still going through the door. There's no walls in your way, but you're still going through the door. Oh, AI pathing. There you go. Alright, good. So, this will end up being my cleaning closet. Let's pause it. Uh, we got white wall here to here. And then this whole thing is just going to get, uh, yeah, locked in. Now, I'm going to do this, too. I'm going to put another door here. This allows more than one like you can enter the closet from more than one direction i've got this little extra thing here and i've been debating do i want to like open this up to where it's uh you know i can make another cell here and have that little zigzag wall or do i want this to just be a cleaning closet and I i'm gonna go with this being a cleaning closet and actually i can't do that because the cleaning closet nope i got a solution for that i've got the solution for this non-square wall rule Right there. Put it right there instead. And then we will uh, remove that. So this goes first, please, followed by this. And then we'll say this is a cleaning cupboard. Big cleaning cupboard, okay? Big, big cleaning cupboard. And it says it has to be indoor. It is, it's done, okay. So this is a cleaning cupboard. Now we can have people work here if we want to. Prison labor, pop a few people in here so they can do some cleaning. That way I don't need as many janitors. As many janitors means less daily wages, also means less for staff needs. Very nice. Now, I've been told in the comments repetitively, you can move things, you don't have to dismantle them. Okay, so when you build up habits in your gameplay over a thousand plus hours of gameplay, it is really hard to drop those habits just because a small bullet point in a change note says you can, okay? So it's very difficult to, like, give those up. But another thing is it also doesn't really matter that much with certain components. Like, for example, cameras. This camera was connected to the CCTV monitoring station. I double-click it. I move it back. It's now disconnected. So it's the same as dismantle, reinstall. It's the same process. When they move something, they are dismantling it and then reinstalling that thing. Okay? The only difference is, is you do it all in one motion for you as a for you as a player instead of having to say dismantle, wait, and then reinstall and have multiple steps for yourself. The processes uh, within the game are exactly the same. They're still dismantling and still reinstalling completely. Uh, so the CCTV monitoring station that was looking at that camera is no longer doing so. I think it's this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it all the way down. Eight. Nope. I need to actually click it. Like that. Okay. 
So now we have them, the cameras are all hooked up and we can always see inside the workshop no matter what. And it's nice. Extra presses, extra people, extra work, right? Uh, and hopefully extra exports. I've also expanded our forestry just a little bit because we've expanded our workshop and they have higher needs. So, oh, <gasps> ooh, ooh. <laughs> pause the game on impulse uh we're taking 26 criminally insane today are we i was unaware who t who didn't tell me who who is the guy who tried to keep this information from me uh let's bring this up and bring this over and we'll bring this up bring that over as well all right so uh, we, we don't have room for that at, at all. Um, we have room for some. I mean, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, and then another 6. So there's 25. We actually have enough. We almost have enough for all of that, actually. If I expand these cells, we could, we could really afford that, actually. That's an affordable intake. Oh, why not? <laughs> Let it go. Why not? That's an affordable intake. All right. Um, what we want to do, though, is we want to expand a little bit more because we need to make sure that... Uh, you know what? No, we don't need to copy the wall. We just need to clone... We need to clone outside. This is just about like this. Yes. Uh, and then go like that. And then I think like... That's good, right there, yeah, like that. Beautiful! Uh, can we do one more? See, the problem with this is it's right up against that office, so the answer would be no on this part. But that's okay, because I'm also going to expand slash clone the solitary cells. Can't quite get them all, so why don't we clone this part? It doesn't even line up straight. It's it's glorious. Doesn't how it zigzags and doesn't actually doesn't actually conform. Oh, you know that's tempting, huh? It's pretty tempting, huh? <laughs> Making it zigzag up like that, huh? Actually, I don't need to copy the wall though. So really, all I would need to do is clone this part, like that. It's like it doesn't go straight. I know. It's I know. I know. <laughs> All right. So, 76 grand now. Wow. That's a lot. First thing I think we should do is get a few more orderlies to help out with this. Shall we? A few more. So they can get stuck in the staff bathrooms over and over again. I have no idea why. I'm thinking maybe it has to do with the doors. So if I, if I like, dismantle these doors... Let me, let me test this out. Because, like, I like the idea of... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice now. Uh, I like the idea of <clears throat> the jail cells having doors. Or the, the, the bathrooms having doors. Right? For privacy reasons and stuff. But, I mean... Screw it. If it's causing people to get... If that's the reason they're getting stuck, then we need to change it. Also, I really don't like how dirty this floor and stuff looks. So, I'm going to give the, the staff marble. That seems fair. The staff can have the marble floors. Okay. Because my staff deserve the best. Right? The best. Now they can have it. Apparently, I didn't tell them to dismantle these two doors. But I want to see if they still get stuck even with the doors. It looks like he does. Yeah, he's still stuck there. So I have to manually tell him to move outside the bathroom or just move and then he can go back to work. So it's not the doors. Which means I can put them back. But I don't know what's causing that. Uh, if you've encountered that problem yourself and have a fix for it, uh, please let me know. I'm going to send that to the devs. Because I can, it's rep, it's uh, reproducible in my prison. So we're gonna see what they say. This little section here, there's not enough places to sit, and these guys clearly like the bleachers. So I'm gonna just put 
some more bleachers. Here, here. too crowded maybe here and then maybe some regular benches along this wall like this maybe a little bench over here they just need places to sit because they just they like places to sit that's their thing right these tables and stuff they really want that whoa uh -oh. oh what is this uh oh is it him who's the one it's you Ah! Did you not make parole? Well, I understand why, Simon Scut. Volatile, strong, hyperactive. I thought we were treating you well. I thought, anyway. Programs. Let me go to... Psychiatric consultation. Look, like, 43 and Q, none of them are doing this. And if I hit reschedule programs right now, these guys, they'll stop their session. They'll leave their classroom. Like it's, So I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to wait till this class is done. They all have a 0% attendance and success chance. I don't understand. Are they not? They're actively taking the course right now. How do they have a 0%? Now it's a 1%. Wow, this must take a long time. They must need to go to this class for a very long time. They all have a 0% chance. Uh, oh, you, you're good. Oh, you're good. John Stevenson, you are good. Oh, bring up that success chance. Yes. I need that. What class is this? How can I tell? One of these is, okay, you are teaching gen ed. Okay, you're the ones that I need, that I really care about. Zero, zero, zero. Uh, uh, what about you? Camera, go back. I want to see. Eight, zero. Eight and zero. Eight and zero. Eight and zero. Uh, I'm never going to have general education done. <laughs> I'm never going to have general education done. Okay, um, how about we add a few more weight benches in here? Just to do it. And then also the yard. I need to bring the yard back in the section or no? Did I already do that? I don't know why that's highlighted. What? What? Why? Why? I haven't clicked there. Garden outdoor area queued. Yeah, but like why is it highlighted while I'm doing the room assignments? It's Okay, never mind. Never mind. I think there's a few extra little uh bugs, if you will, in the game. Introduced no doubt by like bringing new features into it, right? You know, like it's it's mostly it seems like mostly has related to the orderlies and stuff being stuck in here, but every now and then you encounter another problem. Logistics. Let's have more people on uh, on laundry too, because there's a lot of there's a lot of prisoners here. Uh, there should there's a lot of need for that. And also, you know what? I haven't done a shakedown in a very long time. You know, and I feel like I kind of should assign orderlies during this time. Assign more orderlies during this time, because there's a lot of there's a lot more criminally insane in this room now, all at the same time. And this place needs more orderlies during the night. And maybe during other times, too. So, like, like this. I'm also tempted to make it... I think so. We're going to put some couple of orderlies in this. And we're going to have one orderly in each of these. Um, actually, these should probably be guards. But I don't know. I don't know if uh, if the orderlies or if the criminally insane are going to do, you know, bad things in parole. Do they even get... I mean, they get eligible for, for parole, so... I don't know if that's going to be a, 
a big dire consequence or not. Okay, so we have more criminally insane inmates now. I want to <clears throat> make sure our toilets are in. There you go. Let's check temperatures, because that might be a reason for them to kick off too. Okay. Yeah, all this is very cold. And then over here too. So let's put in a few of the radiators. I'm going to put one right there. It should be right on a... I think that's right on a hot water pipe. It's over one. Uh, okay, it's over one. Well, we'll stop that. And go... Ooh, medicine cabinet. Hey, we got one. We're going to put that in the offices. All right, that one's going to be fine. That one's on there. And then what else? We need it down here too, right? Radiator down here too. Let's put one... Where's the hot water pipe? We could put one here. Or we could just have one. I want it kind of in the middle of the cell block too, so... I think I'll make uh, my own pipe for this. So go here, and then also one up here. And then we'll just draw pipes to those. <laughs> so those are there. We just need to go like that. Okay. That'll make things a little bit warmer in there. Let's check out logistics one more time. See if I'm if I'm forgetting anything. Okay, the classrooms need it. The shop... The <clears throat> excuse me. The shop needs it. These offices need it. Yeah, I'm losing my voice big time, guys. I may have to take a break from recording for a bit. Which is good, because I got, like, a huge to-do list. If you're a part of my Discord, uh, if you're not, feel free to go to the description and join up. There's uh, a lot of really cool people in there, and uh, we'd love to have you. But uh, I have a to-do list in there, and uh, part of my to-do list is just, like, commissioning a ton of things. Like, buying a ton of things that need to be bought to progress my channel and stuff, right? So, um, and I like things like um, merchandise. We've had lots of people, especially on Twitch, mention, you know, merch type stuff. And like, that's a really great way to, um, you know, support the channel financially is with merchandise stuff. And I've never really thought about it much up until it started getting brought up a bunch because I don't know, I just, I guess I just never figured my stuff was merch worthy, but. We have a cool, we have a few cool design ideas that I think people might like have interest in actually wearing and and or using, right? And so uh, I'm starting that process and designing that stuff. Things like mugs, mouse pads, uh, t-shirts, you know, the standard stuff, hats, whatever. But um, yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be interesting, uh, and I'm having sort of a rebranding, kind of. Oh, is this too far away for that? Wow, it just barely doesn't reach. Uh, how's the temperature right now? I mean, we need that. And we need one down here, too. Hmm, okay. Okay, okay. Well, we can always put it over here if I didn't put a bench there already, which I did. I could probably move it over here. I should. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put one over here. Uh, I'm going to move that. Mm, maybe, maybe right here is fine. Right in front of the door? Nah. Nah. Let's just break this down. We'll put uh, one of the smaller benches here instead. And then right next to that, we'll stick another water boiler there. Then we'll bring the large pipe. Uh, let's go like... Like that. So it's right next to it. It'd probably look cleaner if it was doing that. Let's just do that. Uh, and then what else? What else? What else? What else? Hot water it needs to be brought all the way over like that. Or it works. Hang on. Wait. Now it works. It wasn't working, and now it works. I'm so confused. Hold on. Hold on. This may not be required. Workmen cancel. This may not be necessary. Apparently that works. Good. Okay. It was telling me it wasn't. I guess it just takes time to get the water there. Maybe if you're really used to playing in like full speed, then you expect things to happen faster. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, we're getting taking care of the temperature situations in all these rooms and stuff. I think it's going to be a while before somebody passes general education. Those guys had a 0% chance to succeed. So 
I think that's going to be a, a bit. Unfortunately. Let's bring this all the way over and then just pop those up. That should take care of the hot water in those places. These hot water are not done. Let's connect that. Connect this. Connect this. And all of that needs to be done first. And then all of this needs to be reconnected now. All of this needs to be connected because we expanded. Ah, this game. Ah, this game, man. All right. I think I'm going to go record one more Survive in the Aftermath. That game has been fun. If you haven't checked it out yet, I encourage you to do so. It's been fun. We've had a couple of things where, you know, the game kind of hiccuped on us because it's an early access. But overall, uh, real solid future for that. I, I feel it. Food budget experiment is over. Results are inconclusive. You can set, <laughs> you can set the food policies to whatever you wish. Results are inconclusive. Uh-huh. Sure they are. Um, okay. I am... See, now we're getting psychiatric consultations in these spots. I wonder if, like, every day they just reset. Like, they reschedule every every day, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Maybe we don't need to reschedule all the time. Maybe that's one of my problems. <laughs> Rescheduling constantly when things don't go well. Uh, Yeah, so I think the next video we'll go ahead and try to expand for um, maximum. I'll probably go about, like... Probably out like this. And then over here. Like that, you know? Like all of this stuff will basically end up being our maximum wing. Right? It's not going to show foundation there because of um, reasons, I, I, I guess. It's, it's got its reasons, I'm sure. But uh, anyway, yeah, I probably will end up doing this. And our maximum wing will be right here. And then we'll have one more medium wing right there. Solitary will continue between the two of these. Uh, and then up here, criminally insane. Uh, and then we just have to figure out a solution for protective custody. Maybe this. Little section here. You know? Maybe this ends up being protective. Or maybe we expand over across the road, move criminally insane over there, and then we have more room for protective custody in low sec. You know? Because we want to do low sec too. And then, like, you know, we'll have to do uh, death row. If we're going to have all security levels in this prison, that's going to have to be the way it is. But this is going to cost money. Like, a lot. It's going to cost a bunch. Oh, also, probably should stop that before I can take more. Uh, yeah, I mean, how much money is this going to cost? Just, just to make the foundations only, right? This part here, that's going to run me half my current money. More than half my money. You know? Just for that. So I'd have to expand slowly. Like, maybe this 20 grand here. Or we expand just the cell wing only. Bring the cells all the way over. Right? And then they have to use the same amenities as the other security level and stuff. And we currently need to expand this before we can bring in Max. So that these prisoners have somewhere to go. Because I think these guys... I don't know, there's not that many actually. Because we've had some people being released on early good behavior and stuff, right? So... We've had people being reformed. I feel like I want to just do this. You know what? The video's not that long yet. Let's do it. It's not that long yet. We're going to go... Well, first thing, we need to remove this light because I want that gone. Uh, next, we're going to bring the walls up like this. Okay. We're going to do that. Then we're going to put in another light. Let's say there. Why not? It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I guess if I'm going to have to tear down the lights, it'd be like here and here, right? To have them line up if I wanted them to do that. So dismantle this and cancel that. Okay, now that's done. We're going to dismantle these walls. 
move the door there. Move the metal detector to there, let's say. We'll take medical beds to here, 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 and here. That's our medical wing expanded. Okay. And then we just need to hook that up to power. And then we'll also need another door. So we'll pop that there. So I have two doors for this. I don't know why. I just felt like I wanted two doors. It felt like a situation that deserved to have two doors. So this is our new infirmary. Infirmary, infirmary. Makes no sense. I infirmary. <laughs> Here and there. Yeah, there you go. Our new updated infirmary facilities also include one additional doctor. Huh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice of me? Okay, so that's it. Hey, probably need another metal detector here now, don't we? Yeah, 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 we probably do. Probably should have one more for our extra door that we have. You know, can't have them taking syringes or whatever out of there, right? Look at our tables. Oh, I think they're lovely. <laughs> I think they're lovely. We could actually even do another row if we wanted to. Put them along this wall, maybe? All sorts of things. Oh, also, another thing I wanted to do, because during mealtimes, they have this need sometimes to make phone calls. So I think the other thing we probably want to do is... I'm just going to put a few phones there. And then maybe, like, a few of them over here, too. Next to the staff room. And maybe like one in that corner and like one in that corner. And now they have a few phones that they can like call home with. Because that's that's a need. Same thing with the toilets, right? They have this, they have the need sometimes to, to use those facilities. So, And then for the phone taps, uh, I think we're going to introduce one more phone tap. We actually have two more in storage, looks like. We'll put it right there. It's the only piece of machinery that fits in that spot, so we might as well. And we'll have this one monitor the phones inside the canteen. It takes a while to install, doesn't it? So, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, I guess. I know you can only listen to one at a time, but maybe you'll see, maybe you'll hear something. Okay, it's, you know what? It's almost midnight. I haven't done this in a long time. It's shakedown time, okay? Now, do we want to shake the, ooh, hang on. Nest, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not do that because there's still security level on free time. As soon as they go to lockup, then we will. Okay, it's lockup time. Make your way back to your cells, please, and shake down. Okay. Now we're gonna find all the drugs and cigarettes. And apparently some batons. Yep. Come on. Let's find all the stuff. Who's going to solitary today? Who wants to go to solitary? Oh, we got a tunnel. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, we're going to find all these things. Cigarette. I got a lighter there. We all know how dangerous the lighters are. I haven't uploaded the last escape attempt, haven't I? I just remembered. I did another escape attempt, and I don't think that's been uploaded. I need to get on. Need to get on that. I will. I'll get on that and we'll upload that too. Because that doesn't require my voice. Anything I can do that doesn't require me to talk right now seems like a good idea. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Is that a luxury? A gold pocket watch. We're dumping it. Don't dump it. It's a gold pocket watch. You gotta sell that stuff. Dennington. Ian Dennington. The last name just screams, I wear a gold pocket watch, doesn't it? <laughs> My last name is... If your last name is Dennington, you should be... You really should be wearing a gold pocket watch. It's my... That's my op a professional opinion. Because apparently I'm a professional namer now as well. You didn't know it before, but I am. 
We have a lot of capacity on that one. We need to start, uh, I need to keep an eye on that one. That one's still good. And then this one down here, more than enough, plus capacity for more. We're gonna have this one, I think. Mm, no, we're probably gonna move another one and put another one here for maximum security. I think that'll be all great. Cause this is gonna expand even more then, and then this will eventually get load. And if we expand down here this way, it'll be this one that's covering the rest of these guys because this one's already at full capacity, right? All right, oh, man, we're finding some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. This is a good place to stop. So 75 grand in the bank balance with a huge positive cash flow and no loans. We're on the cusp, if you will, of getting cell block D. So this expansion will also grab us cell block D. That's another 20 grand. Highly likely that at some point in the very near future, we're going to get reform through education initiative done. That's another 40 grand at us. Not to mention, once we do one of these, we can hit long-term investment, which gets us an extra 11 grand long-term. And uh, there's still two more hidden we could probably do. We don't have the mod that expands... For more grants so at that point it'll be a sandbox you know which is good that's what we want eventually is to have it be a sandbox exports was thirteen thousand bucks yesterday so this is kind of cool if we cut exports entirely it only cuts into half of our revenue that's new <laughs> normally i'm really dependent on exports but this one is running really smoothly I want to say it's because the criminally insane, <clears throat> they I think they pay more. I think they might pay you too much, to be honest. Like, if they're paying you 300 a day per, they're not that much burden. Oh, me medicinal cabinets, right? I was going to say, especially with them being calmed by our appointments. We'll put that in. Oh, the Rorsach chest. Oh, my God. The Rorsach chest is done. Uh, test is done, too. Okay. You know, I said I would leave it here, but God, I just can't stop, guys. I can't stop. Uh, medicine cabinet. Uh, put it there, 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 and there. Improving our, our care. We only need seven more sessions to get the flipboard. Rorsak chat. Uh, test is going to go right next to the... Right next to the couch. <laughs> All right, that's going to make them very effective, huh? Very effective. Plus, all of their sedation where they're, like, calmed gets extended by two days. That's super good. All right, I will leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like these videos, please give them thumbs up. And to the person who keeps thumbing down my videos, I love your face. I still love you, okay? I'm not going to go down to your level. I still love you. <laughs> Take care. I'll see you. Bye.